What's up guys, in this week's developer briefing, they roll out a look into the practice range. Here you'll be able to improve your aiming skills, better understand the building of defenses, or even learn the different seats within a tank. To gain access to the practice range, players will need to navigate to the basic training area via the menu. Here you'll find new ways to access the field manual, as well as navigate to the practice range. Once a player has chosen their desired role, they can then deploy them into the practice range using one of the four garrisons that are each located near a specific area of training, including the obstacle course, shooting range, building yard, and the driving range. In this initial release, test weapons will be available only for the U.S. forces under each role, aside from the commander. In the driving range, you'll be able to try out a selection of different vehicles, including tanks, to better understand how to operate them. Patch 14.3 is also coming up and the progress is tracking well and they will be holding a PTE session beginning on the 17th of August and finishing on the 21st. Some notable patch improvements include the fixing of the missing sounds from rifles or other weapons on the Xbox, as well as the legacy issue with the double graphic on the explosions for vehicles. They have also fixed the Panther Heavy Tank having a faster reload than the Tiger Heavy Tank, improvements to micro stutters, and some general adjustments to the British forces. You can read the rest of the patch notes here listed on the screen. That's it for now, let's hope patch 14.3 is the right kick in the pants that Hell Let Loose needs to get back in the saddle, and I'll see y'all in the next video.